Hi, this is Dave Webb from Venture Caravans and I'm going to show you around this Bailey Alliance Silver Edition. This particular model is the 76-2. Um, the 2 refers to how many seat belts it's got. This is a 2020 model. It's on the Peugeot HDI um, cab with the 160 brake horsepower. Um, it's got the silver cab and then the graphics flow into the body of the motorhome. And it's got the Thule or Thule, however you wish to pronounce it, awning fitted to the side there. A nice LED awning light, as you can see. Um, on this side, you've got the Truma heater outlet and a mains outlet with a aerial socket next to it. The gas barbecue, uh, sorry, the back gas locker is just beside the door here. And then next to that is the barbecue point. It also has a the water filler cap next to that. As you can see, it's on the on the alloy wheels. It has a locker space here that goes underneath the uh, fixed bed, which I'll show you from the inside. And the outside, you've got the bike rack positions, so you've got those ready to fit uh, to take a bike rack that isn't included but is easily fitted to those rails. You also have a reversing camera, which links directly to the uh, screen on the Peugeot stereo. So it's nice looking from this side. The front looks sporty. I think Peugeot and Fiat do a good job in making their low line models look sporty uh, and nice. Um, and then on this side, I'll step back so you can see a bit more of the side and see a bit more of how the graphics go uh, from the cab, silver cab into the body. Um, you have just the two fridge vents there, a mains plug-in point there for your mains electric. The waste drain down is just behind that, just in front of the rear wheels. And then you have your cassette toilet, the top tank filling for the flush, and then the bottom door is for where you pull the cassette out of. So now we've been around the outside I'll show you around the inside and uh, show you some of the features there. So it's a one-piece door locks into position it has a hinge that holds it in place and um, substantial handle on the door and the door lock or latch uh, a little bin inside the door as well as you step in you've got a lower floor level there as a step to step into the floor and then it raises up again towards the front section as you can see there and this also has storage underneath and it's where your battery is fitted for the leisure side of things um, but a little bit of storage there that's usable as well um, you can see around the lounge you've got two bench seats and then your two captain's chairs at the front. There's the other bench seat. You can access underneath them and it's got the drop floor. So um, underneath this one is the heater and water heater. And then on this side, just your storage, but you do have your electric panel as well. You've got your overhead cupboards, as you can see they're fitted at the, got a sort of cream going in with a silver uh, trim into the wood effect and silver handles as well on the cupboards. Various cupboards have double shelves and then some of them have sort of full height cupboard space. In the kitchen here you've got your microwave, a nice looking tap sink and hob system. Um, you've got the uh, grill and combined oven underneath the hob. Good sized Dometic fridge freezer. The freezer compartment can come out. That works on gas, electric and 12 volt. There's three burners on the gas hob. And then at the back you've got like a stone effect splashback. Um, LED lighting for the down lights 
and two main sockets there as well. Uh, one fitted at adjacent angle to the other so you can have it stretching a bit further away from the um, hob area. Again, any of the cupboard space, double shelf there and then full cupboard there. It's making use of the space and giving you a cupboard above the microwave too. Lots of light pouring in from, you've got the big roof light over the cab, uh, another big roof light just behind, obviously windows throughout. The uh, cab fe features a blind system, so you can just pull that out, comes right away across and is held into position by magnets onto the other side. You've also got that same system fitted to the front. Um, so that meets up in the middle with magnets too. Um, the stereo there, that's the one that shows the uh, camera and it also has nav, you've got cruise control, air conditioning, six speed gearbox, a multi-function steering wheel. Um, as you can see the seats are upholstered at the front with leather as well, which is nicely embossed with the Bailey logo. LED lighting, nice and bright but not hot to the touch and low wattage of course so make your leisure battery last longer as you can see it's a good open feeling motorhome um, and you've got your kitchen space here the opposite side you've got this sort of sideboard area underneath there as you can see there's no doors there but that's your gas um, locker from the outside this is the position where you're designed to have your, ta uh, your tv sitting on here and you've got a main socket 12 volt socket, aerial socket and lighting switches. Above the door is your main control panel. You've got your heating and water heating control on the left hand side, the trim one. On the right hand side gives you levels for your water tanks and your waste water tank. Turns your 12 volt system on and your water pump on lights. Carbon monoxide and smoke alarm just above the door there as well. You have plenty of space underneath the bed for storage. And like I said, it's accessible outside. So as you can see, you've got the uh, onboard water tank there. Um, insulated wheel arch boxes. The various different bits and pieces that come as extras included with the motorhome. So you've got the winder for the awning, um, mains cable, extra cushions for making at the front double bed good amount of cupboard space and in the back here you've got your washroom the Thetford cassette toilet with the electric flush another cupboard over here and some shelves um, lighting sink and your shower fully lined and again in a sort of stone effect uh, this is contemporary and modern so hopefully that's given you a good overview of this motorhome um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching